Academic posters are a special form of presenting, planned, ongoing, or completed research projects. As discussed, the purpose or objectives of academic posters include exhibition, dissemination, and assessment. Further characteristics of academic posters can include a large format, an open-faced, often single-sided nature. They are very visual, printed, or even digital. They are meant for close-up display, close-up interaction with their audience. Academic posters can be self-guiding in the sense that the viewer can navigate through the poster on their own. Lastly, academic posters are curated content in the sense that the author selects key information from the research output and visualizes it in the academic poster. Many academic posters feature an eye-catching title, plus an academically meaningful subtitle. They also feature key information, such as information about the authors and the involved institutions. The academic poster substantially reflects the research output in the sense that it describes theoretical positioning, the object of investigation, the research question, and the research methods. As a subsequent element of the structure of a poster, it is, of course, necessary to present the findings of the research output. Lastly, as a reflection of the research output, the academic poster and presentation naturally provide a conclusion, critical acclaim, and outlook for the research output. There are many technical aspects to abide by when designing and generating an academic poster. These relate to conventions, rules of institutions, as well as the technical means available in the marketplace. Pertaining to the layout of an academic poster, a poster can be in portrait format or landscape format, as illustrated here. Relating to the size of a poster, it depends upon the setting of the presentation and the rules of the institution, and it ranges from standard sizes A3 to A0, or a multiple of A0, such as 2A0 or 4A0. The fixation of an academic poster at an academic poster conference can be done on a pin board, magnet board, with adhesive tape or similar products. The software necessary to generate an academic poster can be a presentation program, such as Microsoft PowerPoint, or a layout program, such as Adobe InDesign. It is important to assure that your poster is compliant with copyright rules and norms. As a first note, depending on the jurisdiction, the author of the poster may be eligible for copyright protection should the work meet a minimum standard of originality. In most nations, this is automatic, meaning that you do not need to register. When it comes to compliance and the scope of using other material, the use of copyrighted material requires inter alia written permission from the author. However, when used for non-commercial research, the fair use doctrine may allow republishing of works with proper attribution. It is important to take note of open licenses, such as Creative Commons, GNU General Public Licenses, BSD licenses, and others, which are open to public use with varying restrictions, meaning that you can use these images or other material as they are not copyrighted, but they may be subject to some restrictions like an attribution. Works in the public domain are generally without restriction. Attribution. Many works will require attribution of the original author. Captions and or a list of references in this case would be necessary. When it comes to the design of an academic poster, the display form is of importance. A conventional display form is one-sided open-faced. A diptych consists of two divided segments, often indicating two ideas. A triptych poster is often used in the natural sciences. The background of an academic poster can be a solid color, gradient, picture, texture, or pattern fill. A theme for the poster may be selected in keeping with the subject of the work, institution, or to maintain a consistent aesthetic. A theme is the logical and consistent application of font, colors, and shapes. It is important to take note of the variances in font attributes, serifs, sans serifs, sizes, colors, bolding, italics, underlining. These are useful in drawing distinctions between headers, content, and other media. The relative contrast, saturation, and fluorescence of your theme may convey different moods sophistication, alarm, coldness. Choose wisely. Select neutral main colors and select accent colors unique to the given context. Moving on to shapes, utilize the shapes provided in PowerPoint or your given software to create fields or your own graphics. Modify edges, fills, or create freeform custom figures. 
As discussed previously, the banner of a presentation is an important component of a poster. It features key information such as the topic or title, author, degree, function, institution, logos. Fields are the primary vehicle in providing self-guiding, categorized, grouped, and demarcated information. Fields consist of a header and content area. For arranging fields, see Unit 3, Section 5, Flow of Information. Headers generally correspond with the titles of chapters or key subchapters of the research output. Content areas feature condensed information and graphics. Accessibility in the digital age is important. Consider providing a means for the audience to access your research output, summary of findings, or a copy of your poster by digital means. An example could be a QR code, shortened URL, or an email list. Legibility is of paramount importance. Remember to design in a legible fashion. Layering design allows for depth in an academic poster, differentiating it from a mere text or document with images printed in large format. Consider using images with transparent backgrounds, often labeled as PNG or SVG files, when working with a colored background. Microsoft PowerPoint offers various effects including shadows, transparencies, glows, 3D rotation, mirroring, and rotation for your images and text. These can be conducive to your work, but should not be distracting. Be sure to visualize your information. Microsoft PowerPoint features smart art, icons, graphs, and tables, which allow for a speedy visualization of information. You can also include self-generated images or licensed slash attributed images. Remember that the poster is a self-guiding entity. Make sure that the viewer can comprehend the necessary information in a short period of time. Visuals are an effective and efficient way to display information. Academic posters can be published in print or in digital format, such as a PDF. There are many presentation concepts for academic posters. A researcher can explain their findings by way of guiding an audience through the poster. A researcher can give an oral address with the poster serving as a visual aid. Last but not least, the poster as a self-guiding entity can be examined by participants during a gallery walk, with the researcher fielding questions if necessary. Due to the fact that an academic poster is a self-guiding entity and is generally interpreted by the participant or viewer alone, and only in certain cases will the author of the poster be there to field questions, the flow of information is of vital importance. The flow of information is the way of organizing information on a poster. This can be done in a variety of fashions as seen here. Left, right, top, down, outward pointed, circular, and more. The important aspect being that the viewer can derive a clear fashion through which they should view the poster and arrive at the conclusions. An erratic fashion of organizing information on a poster is not conducive to an academic presentation, as the viewer first needs to find an orientation before being able to comprehend a poster. This can be likened to an oral presentation, in which the various components of the presentation, beginning, middle, and end, are thoroughly mixed, hampering the comprehension of the presentation by the audience.